Without further ado, Burke Ryan. I'm feeling okay. How are you? This is your moment. TV, radio, publishing, like Lear Jets. You know that's not why I wrote it. You do know that you're helping people. So tell me, what motivated the book? Uh, my wife died three years ago. Never intended for anyone to actually read it. The only thing separating you and me is in your head. No, I'm sorry. Would you like to have a cup of coffee? I have never been on a date with someone who has a cardboard cutout of themselves. Oh, it's really good for the carpool lane. <laughs> How long have you been at this? Oh, I finally got up the guts a couple years ago to open my own shop. May I just point out, now you're dating some guy who's not even going to be in town for 72 hours? I like him. You ask me what I want I'm still trying to wrap my head around what your thing is. It's a long story. Yeah, but isn't that your whole thing, talking about it? Thank you for the drink. Yeah. Thanks. You tend to fall for these guys with expiration dates right on their forehead. Am I being too harsh? Yes. When are you going to stop lying, son? You have to give yourself permission to start living your life again. You're right. I didn't go to her funeral. So everything in your book. I couldn't do any of it at all. Can I say something with the acknowledgement that my life is an experiment in really bad decisions? You really messed up. <laughs> Give me a chance. Will you do that for me? Yes, she would. Marty. Sorry. <laughs> Where are we going? It's fun not knowing, isn't it?